At the Range is brought to you by Davidson's Gallery of Guns. Matt, the good news is 22 rimfire's back, right? We've spent all those years, couldn't get the ammunition. The ammunition's back, it's time to get shooting again. We got some guns here from Smith & Wesson. I know if you were to talk to most new shooters, they would say their first experience with, uh, with, with a pistol is probably a rimfire. I know mine was. Yep, mine was as well. Mine was actually with a Model 41, which Smith & Wesson has produced for a long time. Right. Um, right here, and now we have these new SW22 Victory pistols. Right now, this is the uh, this is the original model. These were introduced uh, right at the end of 2015, and it, the layout's great. It's an all steel gun, right? A lot of heft, no recoil. If you're gonna start a new shooter on this, you got a, a kid or yep. somebody who's might be a little recoil sensitive. They're fantastic. Not a lot of recoil with rimfire, nope. especially when it's all steel. Layout's pretty standard, right? You got the mag release in the, in the standard mm -hmm. spot, thumb safety, slide release, all there, all easy to reach. T late 2015, and then later, we came to that guy down there. Yeah, since its introduction, we've expanded the line quite a bit. So this gun right here is the SW22 Victory, but this one has a threaded barrel. Okay. So if you want to add a compensator, a muzzle brake, or you know even a suppressor, this one has a Gemtech GM22 on it, you have the ability to do so. You know, another feature I really like about the SW22 Victory is it's that single screw takedown, yes. right? If you're shooting 22, you're probably going to be shooting in high volume. Mm -hmm. 22 rim fires dirty. You got to take your guns apart and maintain them. It's just the way it is. There's that wax on the bullet. The powder runs a little dirty. Doesn't burn completely. Maintenance is a big deal, and it's nice not to have like a whole team of your buddies in a toolbox to get that thing apart. And you know, it might take you a day or two to get them back together. That's with most. Not the case with this guy right here. Absolutely. All right. So now we got the well, the latest and greatest from the performance center. Mm -hmm. So one of the features I like about these guns. <clears throat> Rimfire is fun to shoot, it's especially sh fun to shoot fast. These are set up for speed, right? We've got the grip with a little more contour, a little more texture. We've got, uh, keeps the, uh, the, the safety in the slide release, but we've got that oversized mag release. You want to work on mag changes and burn it down quickly, that's your friend. Yep, absolutely. You know, and <clears throat> on these pistols too, you see both of these have red dots. They right. both have Vortex Viper red dots. They come with and without in these configurations. So this gun right here, you can get it with the red dot or without it with fiber optic sights, or this configuration here has a carbon fiber barrel. You can get it with the Vortex Viper red dot or optics ready. Okay, and you know, back to you know, new shooters and children, I know you can spend a lot of time teaching someone new how to use iron sights and it can be a little bit frustrating. It's nice to just throw a red dot on there and get them hitting fast and make, yes. it, make it easy and fun, and later you can always go back to the, red, to the uh, iron sights. Um, so if you want to capitalize on all the latest and greatest trends in pistol shooting, right? We like to see red dots on pistols. Those are hot. Yep. We got fiber optic sights that are green. Those are a little easier to pick out in bright mm -hmm. sunlight. And of course, now if you want to burn it down and shoot fast and, and, and be, have a race gun, we've got these new guns from the uh, Performance Center. So check out the SW22 Victory.